Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exo Force review, and this one's on the Sentai Fortress, probably the largest one of the first wave from 2006, of course. So on the front of the instruction manual here, which very thick one, you see how the LEGO Exo Force logos and a little bit of writing highlighting Sensei Cake in there, and picture of everything going on, and set number. Uh, 7709 and on the back is ad for a uh, Lego shop at home and also old style ad for Lego club and quite crazy and also has much cool alternate build that there was and then big large advertisement for some of the other sets that there were at the time or they also previously reviewed and then the last then the finishing result and last building step and so now on to all the mini pigs included with this set oh hang on okay so for each of the mini pigs Let me get some. Well, we would have Hikaru and Takeshi, which came in the Stealth Hunter and Grand Titan set. Then Hikaru, who, would, who I think might be exclusive to this set, but correct me if I'm wrong, but at least it come in uh, one other set. Uh, the following year, of course, and then have Rio Rio, or this Rio, who which did come in a couple of sets as well. So, so at least with this set, you get all four of the uh, Exo Force members, of course. And then only one that is exclusive is Sensei Kaken. And aside from that, his or his torso printing done quite good, and his face printing of his Quite interesting and very good for that. And also good use of the Gandalf the Grey hair piece for that. Well, first time used with that then. And also the bar piece used for a cane there also done well. And also get uh, two Devastators, who which have come in quite a few sets. Well, in this metallic brown color or bronze color. Quite nice. And also this... Uh, black and gold devastator which is a uh, kind of an exclusive but whereas the just the uh, upper body and arms of which did also come in the striking venom set but didn't have the leg pieces included with that but at least good to see that here and as for the back side of which none of which include any back torso printing but although all of these of which Oh, As all of them do include a like double side face print. And as you see, you can see that. And whereas, as for Sensei Kaken, his double side face up, about on par with with all of the rest of which, but at least all of which, but also not an only back torso printing, and whereas for the Devastators, which not an only Technic beam, or red Technic piece to stick in the back like they oftentimes do, well, as for this minifig selection as a whole, it was quite nice to get that all of the uh, Exo Force members here's together in one set, unless it you didn't want to bother getting any of the other sets, but and of course the main incentive is Sensei Kaken, who did come in a couple of sets afterwards, but yeah. So there. But also included which is this quite unique special devastator. Which as you see does have the same exact uh head torso body piece, but now in uh silver and the arm pieces are like 
put sideways for that. Kind of interesting how that is, but and also one of those those large plate pieces that can hold all a lot of these with harpoon pieces as spider legs and one going upwards and holds some bricks on it and also a support piece there acting as one large gun barrel. So quite cool one that this is. And now on to one small build, or this one small build. That's, oh, whoops, doing this one wrong. And it is one of these small glider for Hikari, or I mean Hayato to be on, where you can't do much without him doing so, since the wish is to hold the wing wheels to it. Whereas for this build of which, uh, quite all right for as how it is, the large uh, slope pieces and a few stickers around, and also wing pieces as well. But and of course can't work without a mute thing you know, working it, or I mean holding everything onto it, and also a couple of missiles in on both wings with the cone pieces and all. But although. If you like, notice how most of the polybag sets of Exoforce are kind of the same as this, but although it kind of feels like a little waste of pieces for that, I think could have used Hikari or Hayato, but just as is. is although would have done just fine without it, but at least it kind of works out for this set, but yeah. Aside from that. And on to one of the mechs is this one, Silent Strike, which is kind of, which from first glance is almost like the supernova. Yeah, like the supernova, but just kind of recolored and all. And same kind of weapon effect as the uh, Stealth Hunter, uh, which uh, in a bit, as for uh, I'm gonna go, but now I'm gonna go kind of quick or fast on something since there's a big set and a lot of stuff to look at. But and hopefully don't make this review long, although I possibly could. But yeah, so as legs of which, kind of similar to most mechs of which, like same pivoting kind of sections. And legs of which, good symmetry except for the stickers on both sides, jet engines on both sides. And as for the a center body section, which as you can see, comprised of like a few Technic beams, also like the Supernova, for that but you can like flip it open, and also have a couple of Technic beams that have, that have studs on them to fit your Hikaru minifig onto, and close it up around them, and it fits well. And has one arm of which comprised of a few ratchet joint bits and a curved slope with some more print or stickering onto it and also with a couple of, like, of these like sort bits which I think we also might have gotten in Knight's Kingdom but or maybe they were exclusive to just this line and of course have Devastator uh, or arms used as fingers and, you can, and unlike most of which you can detach it straight from the hand bits which is very nice and cool for that and has quite good detailing around it. And as for the other arm of which, is kind of the same thing, good symmetry to that, and also leads to a gun onto that, which has one of those odd clip pieces that hold a lot of like binocular pieces as barrels or something. And the main gun barrel bit, nicely done with a few technic bits to it, and also some this that little bit on the end of which but also for the rest of which still have good use of some of those uh, slope pieces with some stickering on it and some larger ones as well that do swivel in different directions and like the other mechs has this little cone rod bit uh, probably to show where the light brick goes to and as for the back side of which just like some of the others where you can lift it up and it makes the light brick work on. 
and it, which the light goes through this fiber optic cable and goes through that cone piece there. But unfortunately, on mine, which it's the battery has died out. Unfortunately, yeah. But aside from that, quite good solid build for the Silent Striker or Silent Striker. Yeah. And now onto the other mecha, which the Venom One, which from first glance looks kind of like the uh, Thunder Fury, right? but just modified to be like this. But oh, hang on. But also, as for the legs of which, just about kind of similar to the Thunder Fury, but just with different stickering onto them. And the feet of which also kind of similar, but actually a little bit different, like with jagged slope bits going backwards. And, and also do have like little different pieces on the, sh the legs, of course. And also oh, for the center canopy section, which is comprised of two different levers. Of course, and also a red grill piece for an extra detail and a harpoon. Or, but I'm kind of missing one, but whatever. And also inside there is a few slope or studs on there to sit a devastator onto, of course. Uh, hang on. So, Alright, and, and whereas for these little bits of which, which you can kind of make count as arms even though don't function like arms but at least you have a few jagged slopes or those odd slope pieces like we saw on both the Thunder Fury and Vladic in Knight's Kingdom of course and but this one which has a couple of jagged slopes that lead to a couple of gum barrels for that other side which kind of a small little gaffler like we've seen on a couple other sets of course and also some more of those going on and where, but also, aside from those two ends, perfect symmetry to that, which leads to those uh, lime green cone pieces there. And also, you get a couple of these little grenade bond like pieces made of two of those. And one of those interesting pieces is that link the pieces together, of course. And like on the uh, Venom Strike. Or the striking venom, it, which has one of those launcher pieces. Also, on a few other sets that have this, where you can pull on this and the disc shoots out. I wish fun and well effective. Backside, nothing going, not much going on, but just reverse studs, obviously. And that is about it with the Venom 1. Now on to the Sentai Fortress itself. From first glance, just really big. Like, as you can see. Since, of course, this is which a true sign of the times where or all, well, minus all the, minus the two mechs would have bumped, brought this down to like uh, $80 or so, even though those of which kind of bring it up to $100. But, and of course, one good reason why is Probably for a lot of big, bulky pieces for this. So, like, starting out with this front gate section, which, as you can see, does have a whole lot of plates at, making as the front gate, and a few tiles with, like, some stickers going on to it. And also get a lot of those, like, uh, shipping crate kind of pieces from, probably from, like, a city, but but also with plenty of stickers on them representing bullet holes for them. And also two above, one saying Sentai Fortress, and also with in Japanese writing, and also the set number of this set. And also how you open this one. Is you can like take this Technic rod and pull it out and open it right up. And of course, enough space to like have a mech walk through it. Oh, whoops. Uh, 
walk right through. But, well, if possible. Oh, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. And so now for these, like, large wall kind of areas, which are comprised of mainly, like, some usual one by by one bricks to that, both large ones and long ones, and also large slope-like ones as well. Well, both sides of which, but also for on the inside of which, small ugly rock pieces in brown, and also these, like, and a few stickers on them with some, like, numbers and bullet hole stickers, of course. And whereas for this section, and also these little things that can slide up and down them since do have tiles going on the sides of it. Like this one, which another one of those launcher bits, of course. And also a little seat to sit a mini fig on too. And this one which just a just a couple of seats on it. Okay, one side, nothing at all. Oh hang on. And then this one, just one that holds one of those pieces that we just saw on the Venom 1, of course. And also, another good highlight of which is a bit of, like, good symmetry to it, which are with these two towers, but both of them a little different. Like for this one, which, well, both of which have these large uh, slope-like pieces in orange, which is nice to get in that color. And one of which does have a tile piece, or round tile piece with the print on it, and also a little ladder-like piece that gets to the top section. And, and in this section, a couple of things, and also a couple of, like, uh, snowshoes on there for whatever reason. And then this top section, which has a few large corner plate pieces, and also those like gantry crane type of pieces that lead to this little section here. Here, which mostly made of like some canopy cockpit kind of pieces and a little antenna above on top, of course. And you can, of course, like open it right up and there, which is a couple seats and a little tile piece for that. And you have a couple of gum barrels, so it's like extra ammunition to that. Whereas for the other side of which, which is mostly kind of similar, but with a little medical berry, they kind of set area in it. Where you can, of course, fit a mini fig onto, and also a little uh, magnifying glass piece to examine them. Oh, also forgot to mention this little gun turret thing part here, which comprises a few pieces. Also, a little slide around bit to it. But for the most part, which nothing at all going on with this one, but probably most likely to act as a landing pad for that, of course. And in this middle section, or this back section, Plenty of stuff going on, like do get some of those like grill bits there, uh, and also this little uh, monitoring kind of section to examining the silent strike on there, and also one of those like engine pieces from one of the first X Star Wars X Wing sets, and also some classic space sets. But nice to see there, but of course using uh, used as a little filter tank, which is tube sec or long technique tube can like pop off and like go like, fill up one of them. And as for these two little sections, which are just two by four or two by four by two or so bricks. And you can like swivel them around and show different factors or pieces on them. 
plus that symbol of them. And also send timeout and as it split, of course. But like this kind of the ladder bit that goes to this upper section and large fire extinguisher and then another section with a like tube jet tube rack there and in the back and in the back a couple of technic rods that hold a like jet engine piece like we've seen on the uh, uh, Thunder Fury or no on the Fire Vulture yeah and a couple others and Sonic Band yeah and then oops knocked something over and also do you get this like little crank section that goes back and forth just like the rest of it but does have a seat on it and also a little crank section that swivels back and forth to like load anything onto it and that's about it like that and of course enough room to fit both mechs into it or some of the mechs of the sets if you wanted So now on to the final verdict. Oh, hang on. Okay. So for my overall verdict on this, this is which great set. Like for the hundred dollars it was back in two thousand six. Got playing, it's got a lot of stuff to offer, like two mechs or two and a half mechs that a special devastator and one exclusive figure of Sensei Kaken and all like most of the X of Force bunch. So even though like if you didn't want to bother getting most of the other sets, well this which was probably the one to get, of course. Pretty sure that back in two thousand six was a great set, but nowadays still quite holds up. Like, do you get plenty of good stuff for that? And, of course, although for the for the si a Silent Strike, even though it may be kind of similar to the Supernova, but at least that's livable, of course. Of free therapy. And although both mechs may be kind of similar to other mechs, but at least they're a little bit different and workable again, but yeah. Well, although Venom 1, which not so repetitive from the uh, Thunder Fury, but yeah. But aside from that, still quite good or great as is. And so now, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who are still or still looking, completely missed this set and still looking to get it or willing to pick it up, then definitely pick it up. Or if you're able to, or also able to get it secondhand or whatever, also also definitely get it. Definitely get it. Like eBay Brickling, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.